New at 11, hundreds of patients swear by it, a drug that's only approved for heroin addicts, but seems to be helping many other people suffering with all kinds of ailments. So just exactly what is it and what do doctors have to say about this so-called wonder drug? CBS 47's medical reporter Ali Gorman tonight finding out. Maybe if he'd have been given the chance to use it, maybe he would still be alive. 51-year-old Lori Miles lost her brother David when he died of complications from multiple sclerosis, or MS. He was 42 years old. So when Lori was also diagnosed with MS, when she had three young girls to take care of, she was terrified. I was dropping things and my balance, you know, uh, was off. And over the years, she got worse. She came to depend on a hub around, couldn't even make it from the bed to the bathroom. I had gotten to the point where I could not get out of a chair without my husband helping me up. She really was going downhill um, physically and mentally. But as you can see, that's changed. Lori can walk now, at least short distances with a walker. And her previously numb fingers are typing again. She says she's got her life back thanks to this little pill. It's called low-dose naltrexone, or LDN. Miles first heard about it from an article in a South Carolina newspaper. The results just sounded so fantastic. It took Miles months to convince her doctor to write a prescription because the drug is only approved in a higher dose and only for heroin and opium addicts. But it's the low dose form that might be helping hundreds of patients suffering from diseases like Crohn's disease, Alzheimer's, some cancers, AIDS, autism, and like in Miles' case, MS. She even says she saw results overnight. It was the next morning I turned over in bed and put my feet down and stood up and it had been the first time in probably about four or five months that I even had my feet on the ground standing up and it was just, I just couldn't believe it. And I told her, I was like, you know, maybe because you wanted it to work, it worked. But then, you know, weeks later when she started, you know, walking around more and I knew that it was, you know, the drug was actually working. Even experts, including the head of Shands Jacksonville's MS Center, have heard the buzz about LDN. We hear a lot of great stories, but then when you go to see if the science is behind there, a lot of times the science is lacking. Still, Dr. Cantor doesn't rule out the possibility that LDN could help a lot of patients in the future. He says hearing stories about people like Lori Miles should be a call to arms to get more money to study the drug that right now no big pharmaceutical company is backing. I would like all of us to write to our congressman and ask the FDA and the NIH, the National Institute of Health, to fund more research about LDN. Cantor says first we need to prove LDN is safe, then that it really works. As for Lori, her doctor says there's no significant change in her MRI, meaning her MS still appears as it did before she started taking the pill. But there's no denying she feels better. Just, I'm very happy for her. Lori doesn't know for sure whether it could have saved her brother, but she's certain it's saving her. It's just been a wonder drug. Miles says the only side effect she's noticed is very vivid, sometimes scary dreams. She's been taking LDN for a little more than a year. Now, Dr. Cantor says while he is interested in studying LDN, he wouldn't take a patient off of a proven drug to try it. I'm Allie Gorman for CBS 47 News. Again, there have been no large-scale studies to prove that LDN is safe and effective for patients with autoimmune diseases. And, of course, you should always talk to your doctor before considering trying any new medication. And that one, incidentally, requires a prescription and has to be specially made.